welcome to Grace Today, a daily vlog designed to encourage you and equip you with the Word of God. Let's begin. All right, beloved, as we continue to think on Colossians 2.8 and how we apply the truth that we learn from this past Sunday, I want to take a time today and tomorrow and, and really probably Friday as well to look at these markers of deception, these markers of philosophy and empty deception that are given in chapter 2, verse 8. And the first is that it is according to the traditions of men. According to the tradition of men. Now, I'll remind you what we talked about on Sunday. This isn't tradition in the sense of customs, like standing for the pledge, you know, standing for the national anthem, greeting someone a certain way, those kind of things. But rather, it's the idea of traditions is instruction that's handed down that demands compliance or that demands adherence to a certain set of rules and regulations. And so we want to look for in our lives the way that we are being swayed by the traditions of men. And of course, this is standing in opposition to the teaching that is from God, the apostolic tradition that is handed down of the truth of God and the truth of the gospel. We want to guard ourselves against those things. So let me encourage you, as I did yesterday, to, to start with prayer. Pray that the Lord would show you anywhere that you are giving in to the traditions of men. Maybe that you've accepted a certain area that maybe you think God's word isn't clear on or God's word doesn't speak directly to, and so you've adopted the traditions of men. Let me encourage you to think about those things and then seek to understand what Scripture does reveal about those things. This may not necessarily lead to you casting off all the things you've learned. As I mentioned on Sunday, it's good for us to seek wisdom, to seek wise counsel, those kinds of things. But we want to make sure that our understanding of the counsel and the traditions that we're being given are submitted to Scripture, not Scripture being submitted to our traditions and to the traditions of men. So let me encourage you again, pray. And as the Lord reveals to you opportunities, ask Him to lead you in both repenting of being lax and being uh, slothful maybe in your guarding against these things, but also to give you a true understanding of His Word and how you might pursue His teaching on these areas, on these topics. We don't want to be taken captive by the traditions of men. Instead, we want to be captive to our Creator, the one who gives us His all-sufficient Word. I love you, Grace Community, and I'm praying for you. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to Grace Today. For more information on Grace Community Baptist Church of Elgin, Texas, and how you can support this ministry, check out the links in the description below. See you tomorrow.